Hey guys, it's Miss Lawson. Welcome back to the Art Barn Studio. We're going to be drawing a draw along of a winter cat. Now, I don't know about you, but here in Florida, winter caps come out maybe for one weekend during January. So go grab your pencil pouch and let's get started. Let's talk about the supplies in my pencil pouch. Pencils, mechanical pencils, crayons, colored pencils, and markers are all great tools to use during our draw alongs. So winter, winter in different parts of the country can be very different. Florida winter um, is pretty boring. It's windy, cold, but not unbearable. Um, so winter caps usually come in handy, not so often, but we're gonna draw a really cool one with lots of color. So hope you're ready for this. Okay, drawing our winter cap. I have my paper. I'm just using a plain piece of white. It's like a cheap cardstock paper. And I'm gonna be drawing it with a Sharpie marker. Again, you can use pencil crown, a colored pencil, anything you would like to draw it with. Um, I've got my white paper vertical. So we're gonna start with the bottom of the hat, which is a long kind of rectangle with more curved corners. Okay, then we're gonna jump all the way to the top and add our little pom-pom that is on top of our um, hat. and. Just kind of squiggly lines. Just an organic, odd shape. You can make it look like a cloud. Then we're gonna start on one side and as we curve down, we're not gonna go completely to this corner, we're kind of moving in. So you can see where I've marked is where I want to go. So as I curve, I'm aiming for that little dot. Same thing, I'm gonna come in, uh, maybe a little farther, dot, curve towards that little line. Now that we have our hats, now we're gonna add our pattern to it. And again, what I'm doing is just an idea if you have any favorite type of lines or pattern you would like to draw, that's for you. I'm gonna draw one stripe at the top. And then I'm gonna draw a zigzag um, line like that, a little below it, so I have to do two. Do the same line. So I'm gonna repeat this line below it. And depending on how much room you have, you may be able to do another zigzag line. It depends on your hat. If you figure out, you could do a wavy, zigzag, striped, going other way. And then in between, I'm gonna add polka dots in each section. I don't wanna make them too small because I have to color them in. And there's no pattern. I'm just randomly adding polka dots. Stars are a good thing. Okay. I'm just gonna look and fill in where I need it. Okay, forgot down here, we're gonna add the lines because when they usually stitch this part, usually it's ribbed. Colors. I'm going to be using Crayola um, markers. Um, I've already picked my colors. I'm going to be using a graphic green, blue, laser lemon, coral reef. So again, I'm going to use these colors on my hat. Again, pick whichever colors you would like and let's get started adding our color.
I think I am done. I know there's a lot of polka dots. So if you saw, I kind of went around the polka dots and then I tried to fill in the area. Still, it was kind of difficult not trying to get inside the polka dots um, or leave too much white space. So think about that before you draw a bunch of polka dots. All right, I love my little winter cap. Again, I hope you enjoyed um, using your Crayola markers or crowns or whatever other colored pencils that you have. And I would love to see your winter caps or hats or beanies or snow caps, whatever you call it. Guys, thanks for joining me on this draw along of a winter cap. I remember, please share your drawings, your paint alongs with me. I love to see my students' artwork. So have a great day. And don't forget, we have a few other winter draw alongs coming up. So stay tuned.